hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x cubed minus x square is equals to 4 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to focus into the right hand side and you see that here we have this is 4 now we rewrite this 4 as in this form this is x cubed minus x square is equals to 4 we write 4 as 8 minus 4 we know that 8 minus 4 becomes here 4 i can break this 4 uh, the reason is that i can just uh, in the left hand side you see here we have one is cubic term and one is square term so in order to make these cubic and square terms in the right hand side that's why that's why we break 4 as 8 minus 4 and now here when we make the prime factors of 8 uh, it will become in cubic form and uh, when we write 4 into the prime factors form it will become here square form we know that 8 is equals to 2 cubed minus this 4 is equals to 2 square so further in the next step uh, this is square uh, so here we move these two terms into the left hand side and it will become x cubed minus x square this is 2 cubed becomes here minus 2 cubed this is minus 2 square becomes plus 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further in the next step we need to make the pair of cubic term with cubic term and we make the pair of square term with square term so here we make the pair of these two terms and here we take uh, um, minus sign common from these two values so when you take common negative sign from here we get this is x square minus 2 square is equal to 0 and now here in the next step we uh, apply here the two uh, nice algebraic formula so in the first term we apply here the cubic formula you know that if we have a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so uh, after that here in the second term we apply this algebraic formula a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so in the first term we apply here the cubic formula and after using this formula uh, our above equation is written as in this form so here uh, our the first term is written as first you have a minus b the value of a is x minus 2 times of uh, uh this is a square plus a b plus b square when we apply this formula it will be written as x square plus x times of 2 plus 2 square and in the second term we apply here this nice second algebraic formula minus here we apply the second formula on this term so it will be written as x minus 2 times of x plus 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here uh, both of these terms involve x minus 2 so when we take common x minus 2 from here we get the remaining values are from here we get this is x square plus here we get 2 times of x plus this 2 square equals to 4 and this minus sign and here when you take common x minus 2 we get here x plus 2 and now we multiply this minus sign on both of these values it will become minus x minus 2 is equals to 0 and further in the next step we have this is x minus 2 times of x square and this 2x minus x becomes x and 4 minus 2 becomes 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 2 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus x plus 2 is equals to 0 and uh, from here we get easily the value of x is equals to 2 and from here now in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation so we know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method second one is completing square and the third one is by applying the quadratic formula but here i can use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation so for this first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to 1 and c is equals to 2 so these are the coefficients of a b and c and here uh, we need to uh, state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus 
square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and here we need to substitute the values of a b and c here and it will be written as this is minus b the value of b is minus 1 plus minus square root of b square b is 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 2 and it is divided by 2 times of a a and here our a is equals to 1 and after that we need little bit simplifications here and we get this is minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square equals to 1 minus this is uh, 4 times of uh, 2 4 times 2 becomes 8 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 so here further in the next step we need more simplifications here and uh, uh, we have this is minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 8 becomes minus 7 divided by 2 So here you know about that when negative sign appears inside the square root So it will becomes iota or in other words first we can just apply square root on separately on both of these values And it will be written as minus 1 plus minus square root of 7 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2 and here you see that we have x is equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of 7 and here you have square root of minus 1 and square root of minus 1 uh, equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So here uh, we uh, because our given equation is third order equation it means that this question has three roots uh, so here uh, finally we will uh, get the three roots of the given equation are here first we find the real root that is x is equals to 2 and the second or other two roots are complex or imaginary roots and uh, the second root is x2 is equals to here we choose a positive value it is minus 1 plus square root of 7 into iota divided by 2 and the third root is x3 is equals to minus 1 minus square root of 7 into iota and it is divided by 2 so these are the three roots of the given equation which we get here and this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos